time, a massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake struck Russia's Kamchka Peninsula early today, triggering tsunami warnings across the Pacific from Hawaii to and Alaska to New Zealand. Though no serious injuries have been reported, authorities across multiple countries urge evacuations amid widespread coastal alerts and transport disruptions. In fact, joining us uh, at this point in time is Mr. Aletsky Zarov, fellow at Observer Research Foundation. So thank you so much for taking our time speaking to us on NewsX. I hope I uh, pronounced your name correctly. Uh, you can point it out if I didn't. Uh, I want to understand from you what exactly is the situation on the ground at this point in time. It is the sixth uh, strongest earthquake that has been reported, 8.8 .8 magnitude. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, I think that the situation is under control now. Uh, you rightly mentioned that it's the strongest earthquake uh, at least since uh, 1952 when we speak about the Kamchatka Peninsula because we remember that 14 years ago there was uh, also a huge earthquake hitting Japan the epicenter was near Japan and uh, back back then it was estimated to be at 9.0 magnitude uh, so it's a, it was a very strong quake uh, I mean, there, there are uh, different buildings that were affected, that were damaged, uh, like the building of the uh, relatively new international airport on the Kamchatka Peninsula, um, where, I mean, there were some falling objects and some uh, damages in the building that affected people who were there were waiting for their flights. Uh, but otherwise, there were no reports about casualties, and I think it's, uh, it's good news that... Uh, uh, the worst part of the quake is is over. Though, I mean, uh, there are also warnings about possible aftershocks that may last during some time, probably during a few weeks ahead. Right, absolutely. I just want to understand from you, because you've touched on it, we want to understand the kind of uh, damages that have been caused to the infrastructure. Of course, uh, we're happy to know here in India that things are stable right now and hoping that they're going to remain that way as well. But we want to understand the kind of damages uh, that have been caused. Are there any people who are reportedly injured? What's, 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 the, what's it looking like on that front? Yeah, the earthquake uh, hit several uh, regions of the Russian Far East. We talked about the Kamchatka Peninsula, uh, the epicenter of the earthquake was uh, 120 kilometers off the capital of this region, Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. But there are also other regions like the Sakhalin Islands, like the, the Russian Far East, uh, Vladivostok, and even further into the Russian territory, these regions also felt uh, the repercussions of the earthquake. So while the reports that we've seen uh, tell us that uh, there are different people who have injuries uh, because their houses were damaged or they were uh, somewhere in the streets uh, down the, I mean, affected by the falling objects. Uh, but uh, luckily there were no serious uh, injuries and I think that ministry, ministries of health of these regions uh, control the situations and uh, helps uh, people who, uh, I mean, who need medical assistance. Absolutely. You know, we were tracking many visuals uh, from parts of Russia that were affected. Uh, one that's flashing on our screens right now is one from Severokurlisk, uh, where in the morning we saw uh, the roads that were completely choco block filled with cars. Of course, it's a situation that causes panic. But to monitor that, what exactly is the advisory that has been issued and implemented uh, so that people go indoors, they're safe and they're aware of the situation? Uh, that's that's uh, uh, you know on the ground. Uh, so these are the regions that are prone to earthquakes because of the of being geologically active, and I think that the regional authorities they are aware that th 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 these things happens and they have uh, the advisories and they have the warning systems. So the the basic uh, signal to the population was to evacuate and to find uh, safe places. Uh, of course, uh, the earthquake uh, happens quite fast, so it, it lasted, I think, about three minutes. And um, the, the, the major threat was the um, aftershocks generating uh, tsunami and higher waves, especially for the population living uh, near the coastline. 
so there were many tourists in the region um, i mean because it's a very it has very beautiful nature um, and many tourists were uh, camping along the coastline so th of course I, I i'm sure they were reading news and they uh, realized that they have to evacuate to a safer zones so that they would not be affected by the kind of flooded coastline by the uh, tsunami so that was the the kind of major effort is to keep people safe mm -hmm. uh, so that they would not be affected by the earthquakes uh, uh, repercussions right i also want to understand from you so would you have you had you know have you spoken to anyone uh, in these specific parts uh, within russia to understand what exactly have they communicated to you has that sort of conversation have you had that conversation with somebody could you tell us a little bit about that as well unfortunately i don't have acquaintances in this part of the of, uh, of russia hmm. i mean we have some uh, social media videos uh, that that were uploaded by the tourists by the russian tourists who were uh, showing uh, like the situation on the ground some of them as i mentioned were camping uh, on the coastline some of them were observing the uh, nature from from boats or from some vessels so they they show like how how mountains are crushing and how uh, the waves are coming uh, but i mean i think it's uh, it's a natural disaster these things happen and uh, i mean luckily the worst part is over um, yeah. i don't think that it, uh, i mean hopefully it, it will not have the the, the continuous uh, repercussions for people and for for the uh, for the regions right absolutely so with that i'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast giving thank us you. an understanding on the situation on the ground and i hope everyone around you uh, is safe and uh, the worst is over that's all that i can hope for thank you so much for joining us sir